Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we will be building these really simple card carousels in Figma. Really simple, but really fun. And they can bring a lot of character in your boring UIs. And on top of it, we'll also see how can you add a really simple bottom sheet with a video trailer and some carousels in it. So really simple to build both of these interactions. Let's see how can we do this entire thing in Figma. So let's get started. So we're in Figma right now. And the first thing that we need is an artboard. So I'll hit A on my keyboard. And on the right, we'll have the artboard presets and I'm going to pick an iPad Pro 11 inch. I'm picking this artboard because I have an iPad Pro with me and I want to see the previews of my Figma files on my iPad. It looks really amazing. Uh, but you can pick any artboard that you like. This sort of interaction that we're building today is more suitable for a touch interface. So it makes sense that you pick either a tablet UI or, um, an, uh, or a mobile device UI. So totally up to you. You can pick either an iPad Pro or a tablet or you can go with any of the phone UIs that you like. So I'm going to build a dark themed app. So the background I need to be a little darker. So I'll pick something like this. Okay. I'm not picking the classic black. I'm just picking a light navy blue, dark blue sort of a color. And the next thing that we need to do is I need to throw in some uh, dummy Netflix UI on top of it. Okay, so I've added a dummy UI on top of our artboard, uh, just a nav bar there. And the next thing that we need to do is we need to figure out where to place our cards and how big the card should be. And here I want to add and create an artboard. Let's quickly add a fill. And I think I want a little big of a card and I want a square card. Okay, yeah, I think this looks fine. So we'll go with a 550 by 550 artboard. Let me add a rounded corner. I'll probably add something like a 42 rounded corner to it. So it looks really nice and rounded. So now our card size is ready. Now let's start building our cards. So I'll just drag it out for time being. Okay. And I'll call it card one. The first thing that we need, uh, we need an image. So let's add an image here and we're going to build this like a movies tab. So let's add a bunch of movie images. So let me just quickly add a movie image on top of this. Okay. So I've added a movie image on top of this card. Now let's quickly add some uh, UI details on this. So I'll hit R on my keyboard and I'll create a rectangle. And this rectangle will work like an overlay. So I'm just going to give it a dark color for now. And the next thing that we need to do is go to our effects panel and add a background blur. Okay. So you need to add a background blur so that it, you can just blur things out. And I'll, uh, I'm reducing the opacity here so that you can see a few things in the background. So let's do it like 80 and let's increase the blur. So if you see, you won't, you're not able to see anything behind it. So I think we'll go with a really high blur here and I'll reduce the opacity a little bit more so that it looks really glass sort of effect here. So I think um, we'll go with a 50 blur and something like a 60 opacity for this. And now let's quickly add our title, some rating, some dummy text about this, some play button and a cross icon. So let's quickly do that. Okay, so now I have created my first card. I have added some text, um, some ratings, um, release date, timing, and some text below, which explains the movie, I guess, a little bit about the movie. I've added a play button and a close uh, cross icon on top of it. So I've created one of the card like this. So let's just duplicate it and create a bunch of cards. So I want to create like five cards, which we can swipe in between. So let's uh, just quickly change the image and text and let's create at least like three, four more variants of this card. Okay. So now our cards are ready. I've created a bunch of similar cards, just change the image, background image and the text here. And now I have five cards with me. Now the next thing that we need to do is we need to place these cards strategically on our artboard. So let's quickly do that. So this is my first card. I want this card to be on top. And the next thing that I want is this card. Okay. But I want it to be behind the first card. So I'll just move them up the layer and I want this card behind something like this. Let's do it for the other ones as well. Okay. So now I have placed all of my cards on the artboard and I've just placed it one behind the other so that you can just get a sneak peek of the other cards behind it. Now the next thing that I want is to be a slightly more glamorous than this. So the next thing I want to do is I just want to make these cards a little smaller so that you can get like a really simple stack effect. 
So what we need to do is I'll just select the first card that is behind my main card. So this is the card in the viewport. I want this card to be a little smaller, this to be even smaller than that, smaller and this would be the smallest card. So now I'm going to select my second card which is behind the first card and I'm going to hit K on my keyboard that will open the scale tool and we're going to use the scale tool and we're going to reduce the size of the scaling of this second card. So I'm just going to hit 0.95 which is slightly smaller than what we have. Okay, so it's like this, it's gone a little smaller. I'll select this and I want it to be smaller than the second card, the third card. Okay, so I'll again hit K on my keyboard similar process and I'll hit 0.9 so I'm just gonna do 0 0.5 0 0.5 reduction I'll select this hit K and we'll probably do 0.85 and we'll select this finally this and hit K on my keyboard the last card and we'll do 0 0.8 so if you see we are now getting a really nice stack effect this is our main image uh, this is our main card and the rest of the cards behind it are smaller in size all the way back to the last card now the next thing that we want to do is if you see it looks a little messy to read on the edges and it's just the other cards which are not in the viewport are just making it really harder to focus on the first image so what we can do to tackle this is really simple i'll select all of my cards that i have in the background i'll come here and i'll select effects on my panel and the next thing i'm going to do is i'm just going to do layer blur so i'll just select layer blur here I think tench is good. So you're getting a preview of these things, but you're also not maligning the overall uh, focus and the uh, view of this first image because that's the center image, right? So now if you see, this looks really nice. And when we move things forward, when we animate going forward, you will see that uh, this gives a really nice uh, blur changing effect. So our first card is ready. Now what we need to do is I'll select all of my cards here. And this is a very crucial step. And I'll hit Option Command G on my keyboard or Alt Control G for Windows users to club this or to group this into a frame. So Option Command G. And now we are in a frame. And I'm going to call this frame as um, scroll. And what we need to do is we need to create states where this is the first image in one. This is the second image that becomes the first image when you swipe. So we have to create different swipe stages. And since we have five images, we'll create five stages. So first one is done. Let's quickly do the second one. Okay, and in this one, what I have to do is I'll select the card first. I'll go inside the frame and I'll select the card one and I'll move it out of the frame because you're swiping it on the right. I'll just move it out. And if you see here, if I uncheck clip content, you'll see the card is out of this frame that we've already built, the scroll frame. And this is out, okay? Still there inside the frame, but it's moved out of the viewport. And what we want to do is we want this card to be in the center. So I'll just quickly move it. Okay. And the rest of the cards needs to come a little closer. And the next thing that you need to do is you need to make this card bigger as this card. So if you see this card was slightly bigger, you have to make this card bigger as well. So what I'm going to do is um, we can either use the scale tool or what we can do is we can um, scale it manually to match the size. I'm just going to scale it manually to match the size. See, so now it's as big as this. The um, rest of the cards, I think I have to scale them as well. So I'm just going to manually scale them for a bit. So that we get that expanding effect. I'm just going to increase them a little bit, little bit. So that you get a really nice expanding effect. Got it. Awesome. So now uh, from here, when I swipe right, I get to this and this image becomes the main image. And see, if you see right now, it's it has this blur because we have added a blur to it. So I'm just going to come here and I'll give a zero blur to it so that this image is now clear. And you can add a blur to this outside image so that you will also get a nice effect of blur when you move out. So layer blur, exactly the same layer blur here. Awesome. Now the next thing that you need to do is, if you see here the scroll frame that we created which contains all these cards including this card, the bounds of this card is still here which we don't want. So we have to click this icon here, little icon here which will resize the bounds of the frame. So we're going to use drag animation and for drag it needs to understand that you have moved something. 
so if you do this then only it will feel like the frame has moved so that's what we are doing here from here to here the frame has a little movement okay so now the next thing that we need to do is follow the same step that we did here but now two of these cards will go out so this card will go out and the third card will become the main card so let me just quickly do that so now i've created all the frames in the first frame our first image was in the center in the second one second in the center third one third is in the center fourth one fourth in the center and the fifth one the last card is in the center and if i just quickly show you uh, unclip version of these if you see all the four cards are out in the last frame and this one three of them are out and this one two of them are out and one of them is out okay so this is how the steps looks like and now you have these different five frames ready the next thing that we need to do is a very simple step we need to just link them through prototyping so let's figure it out let's see how can we do it and just one thing that i explained earlier as well you have to make sure that the frame that contains all of these cards are also expanded so use this button so that you keep on changing the dimension of that uh, frame so use this button to just resize to fit to all frames okay so what we need to do is i'll select the main scroll frame that we have created and i'll just hit this plus option and drag one arrow to the next artboard and instead of on tap we want on drag so the next artboard and instead of all these options we have to do smart animate smart animate gentle 800 millisecond is what i'm choosing but you can work out different versions if you want if you want a little bouncy faster versions you can check between these different options i'm going to pick gentle and 800 milliseconds so when you swipe between the first image you get to the second one i'll select the second one now the second same scroll group and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to link the to the next frame on drag smart animate gentle 800 milliseconds perfect and we also want when i swipe back i should be able to get to this state so i'll also create a back flow and select here and similarly on drag gentle 800 millisecond everything remains the same so let's quickly link all of our artboards in the similar way okay so now i have linked all of my cards back and forth so first card to second second to third third to fourth fourth to fifth and fifth to back and similarly a black back flow is also ready like so let's hit play and let's see how it looks like i swipe on the right amazing again amazing amazing and i can swipe back also in the reverse direction and i'll get all of my cards back okay this is really awesome really cool um this looks absolutely what we have designed and if you see that we are also getting this nice scaling effect here when we move between the different um images and different cards so this looks really nice so when we are creating this uh card we have added so many items on top of it we have a very high resolution image we have so much text and then we are moving between blurs so that might cause a little stuttering effect and the animation may not be really smooth for you so what you can do is you can select the card that you have created and we have to rasterize it basically remove all of these elements and create like an image so to do that and this is just for demonstration purpose create a copy of this interaction and then change this because once you rasterize it you won't be able to get back these things because you will be creating this entire ui into a image so how to raster this entire frame so you have to select this frame select this frame one for example and go on top and here on the object panel you see rasterize selection once you raster it it changes into an image so the image is now really simple to handle because an image is a simple asset you don't have these moving ui parts so the image becomes really easy to handle so what you need to do is again there is a simple trick to work these things out i'll first come and select all the other cards and let's first remove the blur so remove the blur first and the next thing that you need to do is you need to raster all of these cards and you need not to change the interaction because we are working on the cards that are inside okay so i'm just going to rasterize all of these images basically rasterizing this will create everything into a simple image and now figma can easily work it out so this is only the case if you are feeling if you're seeing any stuttering effect on your uh, files and the next thing that we need to do is so if you remember all of these had blurs so i'll select all of the outer cards and i'll go to effect and now i'll apply the same blur 
and it just looks like the version that we have created and it works much smoother so now the next thing that i showed you in um, the preview was a little bit of extension of this basically when you click on this card you see a bottom sheet which had a player and which had a video playing on so let me quickly show you how to build that as well so i've created a small frame and i've given it a slight so this frame is around this size so it's and covers around 70% of the height of this um, artboard. So I've created this uh, bottom sheet and uh, this frame I'm calling it as a bottom sheet. And what I'm doing here is uh, I've added this uh, text, again the same trailer preview, some buttons, some other text. I've also added these images uh, in a frame and I've simply added a horizontal scrolling to it so that you can scroll between them. Okay, and in the background if you see I am using a video here. So I've added a video in the background. Uh, if you are on the free tier of Figma, you won't be able to add video because uh, videos is not available for free tier. So if you're a paid user, then you will be able to get to embed videos, but it doesn't matter. You can also use GIFs. So just add a background video or a GIF and this bottom sheet will be ready. It's a very simple thing, nothing fancy there. If you want to learn how to create these carousels, um, you can check out my older videos. But nothing much there is a frame which i have added some rounded corners on top left and right and there's a background video or a gif that you want to add and some text here so now what you need to do is um, what we want is when we cl click on the first card i should be able to get to this sort of um, view so what you need to do is select the first card go into your prototyping tab and what i'm going to do is i'm going to drag it to this card and on tap navigate to and instead of navigate to you want open overlay so it will create a bottom sheet interaction automatically for you and you want it to be uh, bottom center which is perfectly fine you want it to be laid down here so bottom center click when uh, clicking outside so basically when you click outside of the uh, bottom sheet it should close that's perfectly fine then also add a background overlay so just add a background so that you don't see the background here so it'll add automatically a black overlay on top of it with 80 percent opacity and the animation that you want is move in so this is the important part you want it to move in from bottom to top so it should just move in from here to here okay so move in gentle 800 milliseconds this looks absolutely fine and the next thing that you need to build is when i click on this cross i should be able to go back to this previous screen i should be able to close this model so I'll just link it back on tap navigate to and you want it move out now. Okay, here you have, don't have to select overlay because you've already selected a sel overlay there. Uh, invoking is through an overlay, but closing you don't need an overlay option. So just simply navigate to move out and you want moving out to be top to down because it was entering bottom to top. Then top to down should be our uh, moving out um, animation. And again, same gentle 800 milliseconds and smart animate matching layers, perfectly fine. So now this is done. Let's see how this looks like. So here is our card and I'll go back to our first card and I'll click it. And if you see a really nice interaction happening and a background video playing and you have this UI, which you can scroll and this looks absolutely amazing. You can now click outside and it'll close. Or if you want, you can click this cross button and it'll close. So this looks absolutely gorgeous. I hope you guys like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you felt about this tutorial and I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.